Well, hello there, friends. This is how you stuff a cabbage leaf. I'm going to show you how to do it. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell. Stay tuned, friends. We're doing it right now together. Well, friends, let me show you how easy it is to make. It's a little uh, preparation to do, but you know, we're still gonna have fun doing it, friends. I got, um, uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start right away with the onion. I got, I'm gonna saute some, um, some onion and, uh, and sausage. If your sausage is quite fat, you may wanna start the sausage first. Don't tell anybody because the onion is always number one. <laughs> But if your sausage is fatty, like when you do bacon, same thing, right? You bacon, bacon, you, you get it. Well, that's a big onion, by the way. You're making, uh, uh, you're cooking with bacon, you saute the, you render the fat, and you use the fat to saute the onion. I got the sausage right there, friends. I'm using a spicy Italian sausage. Use whatever makes you happy, really. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's spicy or not spicy. It's up to you, okay? And, or you could use beef or pork. Or lamb. <laughs> Anything you want. All right, we're gonna caramelize the onion. When you got a little color, we're gonna put the sausage in there. All right? In the meantime, friends, I got a cabbage right there. Regular, regular green cabbage. We're gonna remove the core, right? We're gonna take, the, take a paring knife. Be careful, this is dangerous, eh? It's dangerous, friends. When you do this, be careful. You gotta have total control of your paring knife. And you wanna dig in a little bit. Don't dig in too much because you'll hurt yourself, but dig in. Now, the other leaves are gonna come out easy, but the other one, but this is one, forget it, you don't wanna use it anyway. It's, uh, it's probably not very good. It's got a hole in it, but we don't wanna use it. So what I do is I take it like this and I put it in water. Look, I got one going over there to show you, friends, because it takes a little while, you gotta be patient, right? And you see, you take a two fork and you can pull it. You can pull it apart, you see? And then voila. When the leaves comes out, all right, make sure they're a little tender in the middle right there. Okay, this is where you want them to be tender, right? And then you take them, try not to poke any hole in it, and you put them in ice water. I got ice water right there. You see, look. Look. I got ice water right there. Put them in ice water right away, friends. That is sealing the collar. That will seal in the collar. Now, if you make a little hole in it, don't worry. Not that big of a deal. Okay? It will repair. I'll show you how to repair it later. We'll put a bandage on it. So you see, I got a few of them right there, and I'm gonna show you how to make them really cool. All right? We're gonna finish them in a second, friends. So now, look. The onion, I'm done with the cabbage. For now, anyway. Right? I just gotta keep an eye on it for myself. Ha ha, you, come back over here. I'm just gonna take that leaf right there, because I don't wanna overcook while I'm doing the rest. You see, friends? You gotta have an eye everywhere in the kitchen. Jack is going, oh yeah, camera over there, camera over there, he's going over there, I'm going in this camera, now he's going in this camera. <laughs> Good thing we got four of them while I'm here. Oh, look, oh, mom, you see what happened? Look, look, look. Within a second, the onion I caramelized. So now we'll put the sausage in there. Right, we'll put the sausage in there, we're gonna caramelize them. We're gonna get a nice Maya reaction, friends. Maya reaction, that's composition of the protein. A little golden brown color in there. We're gonna get rid of some of that fat and then we're gonna put the other ingredient, we're gonna cook it for a while and then we're gonna stuff the cabbage leaves. A child could do this, as long as it has his mise en place. <laughs> I wanna saute this, I already did a pound earlier. I wanted to save some time, but I didn't have to do that, I could have just wait to do it all at once. But anyway, sometimes I like to save a little time so I don't make the video too long and bore you with my stories. Cause I got a story, let me tell you. Oh, this, this, I got a story of this one. My mom used to make this and she had a way to make them. I'm gonna show you, it's really, really cool. You'll see, I'm gonna make a perfect bowl. None of one of them strips and you gotta fall and it looks terrible. I'm gonna make a perfect bowl. I'm gonna cook it with a little bit of chicken stock and I'm gonna serve it with a roasted bell pepper coulis. We're gonna take stuffed cabbage in a whole different level, my friends, I promise you. So friends, I'm gonna break this up just the way I'm doing it right now. And when it's all done, I come back and we finish the recipe together, okay? 
Probably gonna take it two or three times before we finish it. Be back in a second. Okay, friends, we are back. So I write a perfect recipe for you. It all depends how much you're making it for. But even if you no use it for uh, uh, stuff, the cabbage, friends, you can use this for uh, for a pasta sauce, for a bolognese sauce. I mean, this is gonna be amazing, <laughs> you know. So now we're gonna flavor it, friends. Okay, and uh, and we're gonna put some celery. I cut celery nice and small. Little celery pieces, and you know how to do it, right? Because carrots, small, because I made a video on how to cut the vegetables, huh? Remember? Right there. If you haven't watched that, that video, friends, you gotta watch it, okay? It really teaches you a lot about how to do it correctly. How to be efficient, it'd be efficient. Correct, it's really a matter of opinion, you know? Little bell peppers. You don't have to put the bell peppers if you don't want them. Of course, if you don't want them, you don't have to put them. We say, oh, you got to put them in. Relax. Only cooking. You know, I tell everybody all the time, we're cooking. Okay? It's not like a... I mean, I always say it because it's so important. You know, we're not sending a man on the moon. We're cooking. We're just having fun. Um, little garlic. You can put as much or as little as you want. You know, I don't like to put too much garlic. Eh? Nice tablespoon, healthy. When I smell the garlic, then I'm going to put a little tomato in there. And I got a can of tomatoes. I wanted to show you. This is one can of 28 ounces of tomatoes. This is a, the La Valle tomatoes. So I, I take them out of the, 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 the can and I squeeze them. It's a, a technical term, squeezing tomatoes. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder... My English is steady getting better, friends. It's getting worse. I got the water in the tomato. I'm going to use it. I'm going to use the water of the tomatoes. Holy mamma mia. I got lucky this time. So look. Now we're going to go slowly. Remember, it's all about stuff. It's all about the, uh, the sausage. It's a sausage stuffing uh, for, um, for ca cabbage. Stuffed with sausage. So we're going to make it. Let me tell you, if you were here right now, you're smelling this, you would say, oh my Lord, it smells amazing. It really does. It's a beautiful thing. It smells delicious. Friends, I'm going to be nice. I'm going to let this cook slowly. I'm going to put some fresh thyme. I got to put a little bit of parsley now and I'll put some more later toward the end. When this is all beautiful, I am going to put um, some cheese in there, some cheddar cheese that I'm going to put on top. I'm going to stuff the cabbage. So, friends, we're going to let this cook for a little while. And then we're going to come back and we're going to show you how to stuff the cabbage leaves. We'll be back in a few minutes. No, not a few minutes. This is going to take about, um, I would say, a good uh, 30 minutes. Slowly, slowly. Bloop, 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 bloop. Slowly. Don't be out there cooking it too fast, okay? I'll be back in about... However long it takes to make a nice and clear, but I would say uh, 20, 25, 30 minutes. 20, 25, 30 minutes. Which one is it? How about if we settle in the middle? 25. See you soon. Okay, friends. Cabbage leaves poach, ready to go. Like I said, don't worry about it if they got holes in it. Not a problem. The, the outside one are going to come out easier than the inside one. Uh, obviously. <laughs> uh, but do the best you can. Don't worry about it. Okay, so when you're cooking the, your sausage, um, if it gets a little too dry, add a little bit of stock, a little, little uh, beef stock if you got it, a little chicken stock if you got it. I added about four ounces of stock because it was getting a little dry. Plus, I'm going to put some rice in there now, friends. So the rice is going to soak up a lot of the moisture, so don't be afraid. I have a little brown rice in there. You can put whatever rice makes you happy, you know. It's always about you. At the end of the day, you're making a recipe for you, for your family, for your friends. There's no greater pleasure in life when you think about it than cook for friends and family. You see, the rice is, uh, is drying it up pretty good. You see? And uh, the, the rice is going to dry it up pretty good. So you put as much or as little rice as you want. This is, um, this is delicious. I'm telling you, friends, you can smell it. it smells amazing. I just gotta put a little more seasoning in it with a salt and a little pepper in there. Now, sausage is pretty spicy, so I don't have to put a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, spices in there, a lot of pepper, because the sausage has got it all in there, my friends. All right, 
So, let me not bore you with my uh, my uh, seasoning thing, because you don't know what to do. You just want to test it. Remember, it's all about testing, friends. Eh? So now, for those of you that are professional chef, you probably noticed that I'm wearing a, uh, a what we call a kitchen apron. Kitchen apron. This is a trick for my mom. Take a ladle. This is a... Um, I'm not sure what it is for. It looks like to me like a eight ounce ladle. Okay, it's a big ladle. If you got one of those, great. If you don't have one of those, I'm sure you'll figure out a way to do it. What my mom used to do is she used to hang it right there in the apron. You see, look. And now I can take my leaves of, uh, of cabbage and I can put it in my container and push it in, you see? Now, if your root the root right there, friends, is a little too hard, then cook it. Sometimes you're gonna find that the leaf is perfect, but the root is not. So you know what I do? You remove it right there, right? And don't worry about it. You put it in, and it's still gonna close perfectly. You see, my friends? So now, I'm gonna put a slice of prosciutto ham also. You can skip the ham if you don't want it, eh? Okay, I, I take a slice of prosciutto ham. This is a prosciutto di parma. It's a beautiful prosciutto, my friends. Okay, you can skip the prosciutto if you don't want to. Put, put ham in there, put whatever you want, right? And then we're going to take the, 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 the beautiful sausage stuffing, my friends. You see, look. And, and be generous, eh? Be generous, friends. This is, oh, mamma mia. <laughs> right there, you see, look. Pack it in, pack it in. Always pack it in. And then you take a little cheese. You can put the cheese in the middle, too. You can put it a little on the top. You can put it in the middle of it. But you'll see, when you cut it, you're going to cut it right in half. And then you close it. You close it with the prosciutto right there. You close it right there. You close it here. You close it here. You close it here. You close it here. If it's a big, big leaf, you may want to cut a little bit of the cabbage out. But if you cook it, it's going to be perfect. Now the magic comes, my friends, where you take it, <laughs> take it out of the apron, and voila. Now, if it don't close too good, because you didn't close it very good, you can do this. You see, look, look how beautiful that is, my friends. Okay? Just make sure you close it better than the chef did. <laughs> and what I mean by that is you go in, in there, see, you close it right there, okay? So don't do like me. Do better than me. And voila, my friend, you got a beautiful, this is what I'm talking about, stuffed cabbage. And then what we're going to do, friends, let me move this out of the way. We're going to put them in there. Let's, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I like what I tell you to hold down. <laughs> you guys are so patient with me. You know what? Look, look. You take it right there, friends. You put it in a beautiful lasagna pan. Now you got dinner. You want to do some cabbage? And, uh, and like I say, you can put the cheese first if you want. And then we're going to put a bit of chicken broth in there. And then I got the oven going over there, three and a quarter. We're going to put them in the oven until they're beautiful and hot, and we're going to serve them with a roasted bell pepper coulis. I'm going to finish this mise en place right there, and then I'll come back, and we're going to eat it together. We're going to cut into it. So I'll put some cheese in the middle on some of them. I'll put some on the top, some in, in, in all the way around it. All right? We'll be back in a minute when I have the whole dish ready to go. Okay, friends. I'm going to take them out of the oven. Oh yeah, baby, they're ready. Check it out, check it out, check it out, friends. Check it out. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about, friends. I'm talking about stuffed cabbage. Look how beautiful. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna put them on. I gotta put the plate over here because I gotta show you. I gotta show you what I'm gonna do here, friends. I gotta put it on makeup on it. You know, I'm gonna put a little makeup on it. I wanna show you, friends, what I'm talking about. So you see, we gotta be now gentle, eh? Because, uh, because we wanna be gentle. <laughs> Look at this. It smells amazing, friends, I promise you. You see, I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you. Look at that, they're perfect, you see? And they, they put a little chicken stock in there, as you could see, right? A little chicken stock in there, you could see it? Oh, you could just drink it. 
just like this. The little chicken stock in there, and uh, and and a little bit of the uh, the juices from the uh, the sausage when in the chicken stock. <laughs> so you know what you could do now to really make a look pradilla, okay? You want to take a little bit of the uh, garlic olive oil and put a little makeup on it. You see, look, look, that's how they do in the, in the magazine. You see, they give you a picture right there, they put a little makeup in there, look at that. This is a garlic olive oil, right? And then what you do, friends, you, um, let me just do it right there so we have it all perfect now. You see that? Now, look, guys. And what you can do, you can take it right there and you put it, look at this. And you put it a time. You know why I like to put the herbs on the top of something, friends? It's not just because it looks good, because it does, right? <laughs> um, especially when you get a nice one, you see? Nice one. Ooh, <laughs> it's pretty. Um, and, and, and the reason why I do that is not just to look pretty. It's, it's important to look pretty, but it's to remind you that you got time in there. Because time is so delicate, it's so floral, it's in the background, it's not in the foreground. Don't be putting rosemary if you got no rosemary. Sometimes I go to the restaurant and they got rosemary sticking out of everywhere. I'm like, no, you know, rosemary in that dish. What is that doing in there? Anyway, friends. Uh, and then what you do, you put it on the plate, and I gotta, I gotta show you. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it right here. Make a jack happy if I do this. See right there. It's two way to serve. When you serve it in a bowl, hey you, stay over here. You can, you can serve it in a bowl like this, and, and it's delicate, right? Or you can serve it in, in a flat plate if you got one of those. And you know what you do? I put a little bell pepper coulis. This is the bell pepper sauce, friends. Very little. You don't need a lot. Oh, very little. And that sauce, friends, I got the recipe. I got the recipe for this, friends, over there. Jack is going to put a link for you right over there. <laughs> it's funny because when I do, I look at it. It's a ceiling. There's none of them in there, but it's right there. No, no, Jackie put it, put it in there. All right, now I'm friends, knife, <laughs> knife. Hello, they're right there. We're gonna cut it, okay? So, um, um, what I'm gonna do is, you know what? The, the plate are gonna be in the way now, so I might as well remove them. But it's gonna be in the way. <laughs> so now I'm gonna cut it, and uh, I, put, I like to cut right in the middle of it. I'm gonna put it right in there, friends. I don't want to squeeze it. And this, my friends, is gonna look beautiful. Look at this. This is gonna look beautiful. And and you know how, how delicious it's gonna taste like? You know it's gonna taste delicious, right? So, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm, I wanna eat a piece right there. I, I don't wanna make a mess. I wanna try to be elegant. Try to be elegant, right? Look, I'm gonna cut a piece right there for me. It's probably gonna be hot, no kidding. <laughs> it spends like 45 minutes in the oven. The thing's gonna be hot? <sighs> okay, not too hot, it's okay. Oh, it's hot, but not too hot. Mmm, fine. You gotta make this. This is delicious. And then what we'll do, what I do my thing. We'll take another one. I take it in the middle now, it's easier, right? And what you wanna do before you put it in a sauce, friends, before you put it in the sauce, because you don't want the uh, the chicken stock to run, to run on your coolie, you see? You dry it up a little bit, right? And then you take it right there. And you put it on your plate, my friends. You see, look. You put it right there. You see? Now, all of a sudden, friends, now you can put your tree right there. And right there, my friends, you have yourself a beautiful... The plate okay here, Jack? We're well, in good shape. You got yourself a beautiful stuffed cabbage. My friends, I enjoy making it for you. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you do it. Remember, Thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell. Thanks for watching, friends.